Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra Levy, Senior Editor of Drugstore News. Today, we're speaking to Tim Ducharme. He's Vice President of Immunization Growth and Strategy at CVS Health. Welcome, Tim, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Sandra. Pleasure to be here today. Well, that's great, of course. So let's get right into it. You know, the summer's going to be over soon. We're likely to see growth, you know, an increase in COVID, flu, RSV, pneumonia, colds, coughs. So can you tell us what do we need to know about CVS's vaccination business, their offerings for the upcoming respiratory season? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so I kind of break it down into like a, a few components, if you would. The first would probably be around like the season, right? And so, you know, really, we want to talk to our patients about getting vaccinated in the September, October time period to really align with kind of the CDC's recommendation. But what we do early in the season, you know, basically right now is we actually talk to patients about scheduling an appointment for the fall. So kind of getting ahead of things, right? Getting prepared for the fall. And so we do that by ultimately um, working with our patients to kind of schedule an appointment for um, for the fall. Then we think about like availability. This flu, COVID, RSV, and obviously pneumococcal. Three of those four we are fully in stock on right now. The, the only one we're waiting on is the COVID product, which we do expect will be out probably in the next uh, two to three weeks. So around the week of the 18th, we expect the FDA to um, potentially authorize the product. And then uh, within a few days thereafter, uh, we would start to receive that product from, from our distribution network and be able to move forward. So think about we got the season, then we have kind of like product availability. And the last thing is really about access. And so we've been spending a lot of time kind of trying to improve the overall scheduling platform, you know, through our app. So we've tried to reduce a lot of the friction, um, make it very easy for a patient to schedule an appointment. Uh, but that's only one side of it. Access can also mean walk-in, right? Sometimes patients don't have time. They don't want to make an appointment. Convenience for them could simply be right now in the moment. And so we stand at the Red Bee to support all of our patients, you know, nationwide. You know, we accept walk-ins and clearly appointments are preferred because it allows us to kind of plan for you in advance uh, for you and your family that I'm um, actually, but again, uh, we'd be happy to kind of, you know, meet you wherever you are, whenever you need it. So Again, those are kind of like the three dimensions that I think about when we think about the fall, you know, the season, our availability, and then, you know, just getting prepared, you know, with access. How does CVS reach patients to educate them and also to remind them about vaccinations for the upcoming respiratory season? So we have like a multi-pronged approach. So obviously we start with like in-store signage, right? So meet people where they are, they're in the store, you know, there's signage everywhere, kind of like reminding people about the importance of getting you know, protection for the fall for themselves and their family. Uh, we have a lot of like media uh, that happens through national TV, local TV, uh, various ad campaigns on social media platforms. Um, but then we also try to communicate directly with patients. And sometimes that comes in the form of like a text message. It can also come in the form of uh, an outreach call where we talk, call the patient and talk to them about the importance of um, getting vaccinated for the fall. And then at all the different touch points in the pharmacy, right? So whether you're coming in to pick up a prescription, maybe when you're, you're calling and you have a question, uh, we also uh, prompt our colleagues to remind them about any immunization gaps that that patient may have. Uh, so we're always trying to keep it front and center for our colleagues to talk about um, immunization gaps you know, with their patients, but then also uh, that's when you're in the store, but then when you're not in the store, how do we leverage kind of like the the national campaigns, uh, you know, media and various uh, other platforms. Um, and then we try to get out in the community as well, just going out and talking to, you know, several, several important groups to, again, remind and educate, uh, again, meeting people where they are. Well, that's excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this information, because there are so many people who really need to know about this. And we hope you'll come back another time and speak to us about other things that are going on in pharmacy. I would love to. Thank sure. you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.